Yeah, the uh, important thing here is that in MS you have two different types of pathology. The one is uh, the formation of new acute active plaques and that is actually responsible for the relapses and remissions of the disease. And then you have a smoldering pathology, that means an inflammatory reaction which is then uh, sitting within the central nervous system, is no longer controlled by the peripheral immune system and gives rise to a very slowly progressive type of tissue injury. And only recently uh, new technologies became available, for instance using seven Tesla magnetic resonance imaging to show uh, the dynamics of the lesions and that shows that actually these lesions very slowly expand over a period of three to five years. And these uh, slowly expansion of the lesions and also the slow damage in the uh, general uh, white matter of mul and gray matter of multiple sclerosis patients is then responsible for the a uh, steady progression of, the, uh, of, uh, of damage, which then when it passes the functional threshold, gives rise to the progressive phase of the disease of multiple sclerosis. Now, uh, the treatment of the acute relapses is relatively simple. You just have to uh, uh, eliminate the cells or, 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 or dampen the, the Im immune reactions, so you get less cells in the central nervous system and you get less uh, problems and less uh, disease. Now in the smoldering pathology it's really difficult because you have to treat the inflammation which is present in the central nervous system when, which hides behind a closed blood-brain barrier. And that is at the present moment relatively difficult to address and would uh, require the development of new pharmaca which actually pass the normal blood-brain barrier.